Anyways, I really want to just come in here real quick and say that this Yeezy corn stuff, corn stuff, yeah, corn stuff. is probably going to be one of the most interesting things. It's going to be plain sets, all, all mono, monotone colors, okay. like blacks and grays and pastels. Oh, he's going to go in detail. Huh? Well, if it's, if it's following his, like, aesthetic, yeah. then yes. What did, uh, did you already play the thing Adam said? Oh, yeah, we haven't got it. Oh, okay. You want to get into that? Okay, so Adam22 spoke to TMZ about easy porn and said the main thing Ye could contribute to porn world would be adding to the aesthetic component by creating new imagery and bringing even more attention to the adult entertainment industry by being associated with it. He also thinks that Ye should bring in new talent and make the studio stand out. However, Adam does not think Bianca and Sensory should get involved because he assumes that Ye would not want to deal with the bullshit that comes along with your wife doing porn by anything but anything is possible. Now at this point in the video, the script is being laid out for us. This entire podcast was designed around the fact that TMZ ran into Mojo Adam somewhere in the streets and asked him a few questions about Yeezy getting into the corn industry that Adam is known to produce. I guess Mikey was in the back editing the clip and getting it ready for the show. So the hosts were on a mission to talk around the subject until Mikey entered to drop the bombshell of content that he's been on a mission to complete. I am completely making this narrative up as I go, but it's the only thing that makes sense from what I can see, and at the same time I can see the genius in this. Now I'm not saying it's genius to create fake drama or narratives with no evidence-based reasoning, but if you know you have a major topic you want to highlight, you should slow cook it and build up the momentum through a conversation that is on the same path. This is where Zon Princess and Mr. Raider get more credit for sticking to the topic and already shedding light on how they feel about it before being swayed by what Adam has to say. Just for the record, in all arguments and or debates, you rarely see more than one no-jumper host at a time disagree with the thoughts of Mojo Adam.